I, I want to talk to you about leadership. But with Mandela, what was it about his leadership style that made him so successful? Well, you have to have that love, you know, like in your heart. You have to be selfless. I think, you know, like in some ways, some people uh, try this ruthless, you know, like um, leader nonsense, you know, like I, I, I don't see, you know, like um, I, I really don't see how that affects people positively, you know. If you don't have that inner feel, you know, like for um, what the next person is thinking, how the next person is feeling, then you're not, I don't think you're going anywhere. And um, that's the ability that he had. He had that power in him. And it's, it's unique, President Kagame too. Um, that did something special to me that I think of every day, you know, that, that um, changing that country from what they went through with genocide, you know, for me is, is there's something I think about every day when you think about people actually um, <laughs> killing themselves, you know, and then to go and visit that country now and see how it's turned around, you know, like it's remarkable. To Kembe. Mm -hmm. uh, how has he been able to lead? Um, I think by example, you know, um, his, his leadership is his voice. To go home and build a hospital that's actually functioning, you know, in the best possible way. You know, like with doctors from this side of the world, from everywhere, training also doctors there. It's a hospital. This is not basketball camps, <laughs> you know, like this is not a... This is, this is another level, you know, like, hey, I don't care who you are or where you are, you know, like, you have to take your hat off, you know, like, because that's, to me, that's leadership right there. A guy you've connected with to lead here in Canada. Uh, one of my, my, one of my favorite persons, you know, Trudeau. yeah, Trudeau is, um, the way he's been to me, you know, like, um, I, I really do appreciate it. The best thing about um, uh, Trudeau to me is he makes everybody that he talks to or, or uh, anybody he interacts with, he makes you feel good about yourself. He makes you feel important. And when that happens with a leader, um, he's going to find every way, you know, like to make it good for his people. Uh, he's going to find every single way to make it good for his people. And I, th I think that's who he is. Barack. <laughs> it's my guy. We don't know how great this man was for us, you know, like um, uh, it'll be um, like it'll be in a few years, we'll start to realize it and his legacy will start to shine. What this guy did um, and uh, the confidence he gave people, the hope he gave people, the life he gave people um, to me is, um, is not comparable anywhere, you know, like and He's one of those that um, I'm really proud. There you go, <laughs> over there. I'm proud to, to, to know him and um, being part of um, his era. You're, you're part of his era as well, the, the dominant era in the NBA, mm -hmm. uh, RC in the Spurs. What is his leadership style for you? Um, he's a great mentor, you know, like um, he's, he's a visionary. He's not a loud mouth. You know, like goes about his business and goes about doing his work and he wins. You know, like in life we have to win. You know, like we have to win off the court and we have to win on the court. Um, and um, RC has won. What's the biggest thing you learned from RC Buford? Um, when, as soon as I got the job in Denver, I became a GM. Um, I had a conversation with him and right before he got off the phone, he said to me, um, I just want to say something to you. And he said, um, all the stuff you do in Africa, you know, like the passion you have, this job is going to get busy. This job is going to be demanding. There's going to be pressure, you know, all kinds of things. He said, um, don't ever stop, you know, like don't ever lose your passion. The leader of the league, Adam Silver. <laughs> Adam is one of my, like, like a really close friend. When I was working here first under Brian Colangelo, I had this thing in my head that, you know, you should, I wanted to go uh, open that office in, in, in Africa, be the head of the NBA of, uh, office in Africa. And um, I had a great conversation with 
um, with Adam and um, he, he looked at me and he said, you know, there's, I, I understand your passion, you know, like you're going to do a lot of work in Africa, you know, but um, I'm telling you, you know, like you're talented enough to grow in the NBA, you know, like and there'll be opportunities for you in the NBA. And a month later, I get the GM job in, 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 Dem in Denver. And um, look at my, where my life is, you know. Um, just those little moments, you know. A little bit of luck, um, good advice from great people, you know. I, I mean, like, to know all these people that you've, you, um, you're putting here, you know, like, um, I'm proud. Uh, and there's many more people. I had to cut it down because <laughs> I only have so much of your time. Um, uh, the leader of the sound, the global ambassador, uh, Drake. Uh, uh, another super, another another phenomenal person that I can actually like uh, call a friend. You know, like because um, it doesn't have to be in the limelight. It could be here in the gym where he when he's shooting here and he comes in with his friends. And um, it could be on text. You know. Um, uh, he's a brother, you know, like this, like, uh, Drake is, um, the, the one thing I, you know, like sometimes is a, a misconception with Drake, you know, like when Drake has friends everywhere, you know, like, and so people, sometimes people ask me, you know, um, oh, he's with Golden State or he's here or there, you know, like this guy's heart is here, you know, like you can tell. And he's been with us, you know, like, tough times, hard times, you know, like good times. Plus I can brag around to all the youngsters that, you know, like Drake is my boy, <laughs> you know, like it gets me a lot of street cred, you know. <laughs> and and last uh, but not least, uh, the leader of the household, uh, uh, your wife. Yes, that's that's my heart, you know, like that's 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 my life. And she's um, um, she's the rock. It's, it's one of those where you lay down in bed, you know, like, and you know that, you know, like, um, this person is for you, you know, um, listens to you, um, um, and just gave, giving me two unbelievable, unbelievable kids, you know, like, and uh, an unbelievable family um, that I'm, I'm really, really proud of. When you go home happy, you know, like every day you drive home and you're happy to go home, you know, like you, there's, there's something about that, you know, like I look forward to it. There's, there's really something about that. So I'm blessed, I'm blessed. Uh, it's got awards with your name on it all over the place. Uh, your Wikipedia page, long list of accolades. Uh, her name's not on any of those trophies, but does any of that happen if not for her? Uh, it doesn't. When when uh, the Denver interview came up, I said there's somebody that um, uh, that they already have. We all knew. Everybody knew that. The whole world knew that that they had somebody they wanted to hire. And and um, and I said um, uh, I'm not. That it's not. Doesn't even make sense, you know. And and so she thought about it. She said to me, I was just thinking, you know, like. Um, do the Cronkies, um, do you think they like you? And I said, yeah, I think so. And she said, you've worked for them before, right? And I said, yes. And she said, have you ever interviewed for a GM job before? And I said, no. And she said, you gotta go. You know, like, you gotta go do it. You know, and, um, and I went and did it. And, Look at, look at where we are today, you know. Um, so, fantastic, fantastic, um, uh, fantastic group of, of people, you know, um, uh, that have influenced, influenced my life in, in an incredible way.